This is K4ATZ with another operating tip for the Elecraft KX3. I'd like to do a video on the preamp in the KX3. Um, the preamp button is the button right here, the number one button, and also uh, the secondary function if you hold it down is the noise reduction, which the updated software has. Um, in the very beginning, there was not any function to the uh, noise reduction, but that's been added. Um, and if you have a signal, you can see this is a pretty good signal, 5.5 five on the south cars. But by pushing the preamp, it goes up to 5.9. Let's see another one here. You see, it really pulls up the signal. Now, a couple things about the preamp control. To access the preamp and how much you want to amplify the signal, you're going to go into the menu mode, which is the display button held down, and you're going to access the menu through the VFOB button. And it's pretty much in alphabetical order. We're going to go backwards here alphabetically and we'll get to the P's and what it'll say is preamp now it shows we're in the 40 meter band 7 megahertz and it says 20 dB the preamp can be set with the main tuning knob to 10 dB 20 dB or 30 dB um, the recommended is 20 dB but depending on your operating position in the band you may want to go to 30. Uh, if you're operating batteries uh, we'll let you know right away that the more you have the higher you have the preamp the more battery drain is going to occur. It's not going to matter if you've got a 12 volt supply or an external source. To get out of the preamp mode of course just tap the display menu button again and you're out of the mode. So now when you turn on the preamp Your preamp now is 20 dB. And you can see quite a bit of difference. So that's how you set your preamp. Very simple for the Elecraft KX3. 73s from K4ATZ.